Hi, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for fifth graders. The concept we will be reviewing is decimal place value in standard, expanded, and word forms. Remember fifth graders, it always seems impossible until it is done. That is by Nelson Mandela. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you will be alerted when we upload new videos. To follow along with our problems, you can purchase our fifth grade math review workbook the link will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Let's look at our first sample problem as we review decimal place value. Texas Rangers Jose Trevino's 2021 on base percentage is 0.267 or 267 thousandths. And yes, that was an THS at the end. Let's see how it looks in standard form. And also on our place value chart. On our place value chart, we see that the two is in the tenths place, the six is in the hundredths place, and the seven is in the thousandths place. And when we think of standard form or when we read anything that says standard form, when it comes to place value, we know that it's just writing the, the number or the value. Okay. Now let's see how we write it in expanded form. In expanded form, we have 0 0.20 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.007. Now let's look at another way we can represent this number or this decimal place value in expanded form. We can put 2 times 0 0.1 plus 6 times 0 0.01 plus 7 times 0 0.001. Next, let's see how we can represent our number in word form. And you can look at the color codes of the numbers to follow along. In word form, it is 267 thousandths. Let's look at another example. We have standard form. Our number is 3,000. 684 and 26 hundredths. Now, whenever we have a whole number and a decimal, we say and to represent that is where a decimal place goes. Now, why didn't we say and for our first sample problem? Good question. Well, we didn't have a whole number. All we had was a decimal. So whenever we have a whole number and a decimal value, we know that when we get to that decimal point, we're going to say the word and after that, we're going to say our decimal value. Okay. So again, in standard form, our number is 3,684 and 26 hundredths. So let's look at our value on the place value chart. We have a three in the thousands place, a six in the hundreds place, an eight in the tens place, a four in the ones place, and we have a two in the tenths place and a six in the hundreds place. Now let's see how we represent this number in expanded form. We have 3,000 plus 600 plus 80 plus 4 plus 0 0.20 plus 0 0.06. Another way that we can write it in expanded form is 3 times 1,000 plus 6 times 100 plus 8 times 10 plus 4 times 1 
plus two times 0 0.1 plus six times 0 0.01. All right, that was pretty much a mouthful, right? <laughs> so let's look and see how we can write this number in word form. And of course, when we hear word form, we know that it is all words, okay? We have 3,000, and again, you can use the color code to follow along, 684 and 26 hundredths. And remember, whenever we are saying our decimal, whatever place value that last number is in, that is the value that we say. Now that we have went over our two sample problems, let's dive in to our question. This is question number two. So in part one, we went over sample questions and also question number one. Question number two says, a bank received a check for $2,600 $9.75. How is this number written in expanded form? Now, looking at this word problem, what form do we see our number? In words, right? Because there are no numbers, it's just word. We know that it's in word form. The first thing we need to ask ourselves is, what are we looking for? Okay, what are we looking for? We are looking for how $2,609.75 is written in expanded notation. Is it A, two times 1,000 plus six times 100 plus nine times 10 plus seven times 0 0.01 plus five times 0 0.01? Or is it B, two times 1,000 plus six times 100 plus nine times one plus seven times one-tenth plus five times one hundredth? Or is it C, two times 1,000 plus six times 10 plus nine times one plus seven times one, plus five times one. Or lastly, D, two times 1,000, plus six times 100, plus nine times one, plus seven times 100th, plus five times 1,000th. What information can help us find the answer? Well, what can help us find the answer is probably writing the number out in standard form. So we're gonna convert our number from word form to standard form. And it would probably be a good idea for, if you have it in word form, just to write it out so that you can visually see each number, just so it won't be complicated with the numbers. So in our place value chart, we see that we have a two in the thousands place, a six in the hundreds place, a zero in the tens place, a nine in the ones place, and a seven in the tenths place, and a five in the hundreds place. And we need to find how or what the correct answer is written in expanded form. How do we solve the problem? Well, the way that we solve the problem is converting our number from standard form because we put it, we had it in word form, then we wrote out the number. So now what we're going to do is put it in expanded form. And in expanded form, and we can use our place value chart or the word form, whatever is easy for you, as long as you have the correct answer, okay? So we have two times 1,000 plus six times 100 plus nine times one plus seven times one-tenth plus five times one-hundredth. Okay, 
Now, one thing that we need to remember and a good question is, well, what about the tense place? Well, there's a zero in the tense place and there's nothing that we need to represent our expanded form for that zero. Since we have nothing times 10, we know that there, it will be a zero. Okay. Now, what is the correct answer? What we need to do is based on our expanded form, we are going to look at our answer choices to see which problem is correct. And if you notice, it is B. Now let's take a moment to look and see why A isn't correct, okay? One thing that I will say, whenever we're solving a problem, Whenever you're solving a problem, after you find out what you're looking for and then what information can help you find the answer and how to solve the problem, going through those steps help you to already work out and discover what the right answer is. It can be confusing sometimes if you don't do those steps and you're looking at the answer choices it can just get a little complex and complicated and you choose any answer as opposed to writing your own answer, okay? So we have in A, the answer is wrong because it has nine times 10. And we had already said that there was no value for 10. So that is why A is wrong. Now let's move to, oh, also it said seven times one hundredth, and that's not correct. Cause we know that the seven is in the tenth place. So for C, we know that this is incorrect because for number one, it has six times 10. No, the six is in the hundreds place. And then for the ones place, it had nine times one, seven times one, and five times one. And we know that's incorrect. So now let's look at D, which the... Two times 1,000 is correct. The six times 100 is correct. The nine times one is correct. But when we get to the seven, we know it's not seven times uh, 100 and then plus five times 1,000. Because when you're, writing, when you're writing money, the decimal place value that you have is the tenths place and the hundredths place not the thousands place, not when you're writing uh, money, okay? So we said that our correct answer is B. And that is it for our video for today. Don't forget you can grab your copy of the fifth grade math review workbook so that you can work the problems out as we go over them in the videos. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you soon.